A letter from the past. In a time of emails and texting, a local woman's written words are selected to help tell a tragic story that some say changed the nation. New at 6, I went to news reporter Walt Buteau has more on tonight's street story. Thanksgiving Day, 1963. Dear Mrs. Kennedy. She was a Minnesota college kid who could care less about politics. The energy, the faith, the devotion. As the young senator from Massachusetts rose to the White House with his uncommon flair with words. Can truly light the world. And now we just shoot stuff off. I don't know if we always think very deeply about what it is we're writing. Back then, young Marsha Schwen was a Rhode Islander studying in Mexico when she realized the Kennedy impact that she later recorded with her writing. I wait impatiently for the bus under a molten blazing sun. A street sweeper let the educated American know. Whom do you wish to be your president? She returned to college and became a Kennedy campaign worker. For honest, the letter, three years later, I find was one of one and a half million. And however small this tribute, it is all I have to offer. And she was so young, and now she was a widow. I felt like I had to express my grief. The grief she remembers. But when the call came about that letter... He was looking for permission to print a letter. What was is suddenly no longer. And my initial response was, I wrote a letter? Then he read her words. In Guadalajara, Mexico. And that hot day, the street sweeper's politics brought her back. Yeah, I wrote this letter. The room is silent, the English lesson forgotten. And then the final irrevocable word comes through. The president is dead. I was flabbergasted when I got the phone call. One of 250 letters to Jackie that this writer thinks will take the reader back to and through a national tragedy. This is a reflection of that time and that culture. On Meadow Street in South Kingstown. The letters captured the heart of America at the time. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.